Humans carry two kinds of fat in the body, essential fat and storage fat. Essential fat is stored in small amounts in bone marrow, organs, the central nervous system and muscles, and is needed for the normal, healthy functioning of all these body systems. Storage fat is stocked for energy. For men, essential body fat makes up about 3% of total body weight. For women, the percentage is higher, about 12%, because it includes amounts in the breasts, pelvis, hips and thighs, believed necessary for normal female reproductive function. If a woman's body fat is too low or too high, this might lead to a situation where she stops menstruating. This condition is called amenorrhea. Women have better senses of smell and taste. They have 50 more cells, neurons, in their olfactory bulbs, the part of the brain responsible for processing smells. Women also usually have more taste buds than men. Both sexes hit peak bone mass around age 30. At 40, men and women start losing bone. Menopause accelerates bone loss in women. So, women 51 to 70 need 200 mg of calcium more than men the same age. That's 1,200 mg per day for women and 1,000 mg per day for men. Sperm lives longer than the egg in women's bodies. Women's bodies allow the sperm to live much longer than their own egg inside their reproductive system. While the egg lives for one day after ovulation, the sperm lives for three days, on average, after ejaculation inside the woman's body. More determined sperm can survive as long as five days in a woman's reproductive system. Sex can be painful. Women's sex organs are more delicate and complex. One example for this is, bumping the cervix during intercourse, which can cause pain due to the nerve supply of the cervix. This is why having sex with men that have larger than average penises can be uncomfortable. Male babies can get erections in the womb from as early as 16 weeks old. Fetuses have been observed with brief protuberances. While there are not enough studies to assert why this occurs, the basic understanding is that periodic movements are necessary to help the penile tissue stay oxygenated and healthy. If you find this video informative, please do like and share. For more videos like this, please do subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to get instant notifications on new videos.